Empty space isn't empty, and it predicts a real number in a lab. So how can nothing change a measurement and still be predictable? Physicists test this with one of the cleanest objects in nature, the electron, which behaves like a tiny magnet. If you love mind-bending science explained simply, subscribe, this gets wild. QED, quantum electrodynamics, is basically the rule book for how light interacts with charged particles like electrons. Here's the simple version. There's a number called G that tells you how strong the electron's magnet is. It's basically a score for how strongly an electron behaves like a magnet. Classically, you'd expect it to be basically two, but quantum physics adds a tiny extra piece called the anomaly. And the weird part is where that tiny extra comes from. Even empty space has quantum jitter, fleeting effects that don't show up as a single particle you can grab, but they do add up into a measurable correction. Now here's the flex. We can measure this so precisely it's at parts per trillion. It's like measuring a football field to the width of a human hair. And to match that, the theory isn't just one neat equation. Physicists calculate correction after correction, higher and higher order. So the prediction stays accurate at the same insane level. That's why the electron's magnetic moment is often described as one of the standard model's greatest precision triumphs. Because the nothing, those quantum corrections still land on the same measurement the lab sees. One important nuance, we're not predicting each random quantum blip. We're predicting the net effect they leave on a measurable quantity. Next, how do you measure one electron's magnetism to parts per trillion? That experiment is just as mind-blowing. 